Hi, this is Daniel from Dreamstream. I'm going to do a quick video about uh, some of the stuff we're using and uh, in my case my pedals are these beauties right here from uh, Monolith in Poland. The name as you can maybe see here on the uh, footboard is Czarci Kopito. I know, arrest me for my pronunciation. It basically means a devil's hoof and uh, they are just an absolute marvel to behold and to play at. Insanely heavy pedal-wise, but still amazing light feel to them. Uh, that clickety sound you hear is the um, foot blaster triggers you see uh, glued into place here by two-sided tape. Pretty cool thing then. Other things are, well, infinitely adjustable in all sides. This one is not connected yet because I chose the double setup, which basically consists of two identical panels. Don't you be falling on me now. Good boy. As you see here, this is the uh, left pedal. Only difference being is that it has one beater holder here, whereas two on the master pedal. This is what we call the slave pedal. Luckily, there's no difference in them. Progress. And, uh, well, same engraving on this one. You can also adjust the throw here by just loosening this one. You can get the footboard a bit higher, a bit lower. Also, you can adjust the height here on this one. Adjustable foot clamp. Just loosen some um, Allen keys, sorry, Allen screws under here and you can adjust it up and down depending on the um, width of your bass drum. Also has a balanced rubber here to keep it in place, two anchors, good quality on them as well, and big bearings in the towers, absolutely soundless and flawless. This was actually a um, birthday slash Christmas gift from my girlfriend, so dear girlfriend, I love you and thanks. So yeah, would I recommend these pedals? Oh yeah. I mean, I, I'm not a pro by any means, but uh, I'm probably gonna play even better on these ones because they just feel absolutely bulletproof. You don't have to fear anything go to pieces. And well, I was gonna say in, in shortness of words, but I will probably have a lot more to say about them. Oh yeah, bearings in the um, Heels here, not everyone has that. They usually have like a pivot joint, I think they're called, just a steel rod runs ran through that will eat its way through the uh, material. Not this one. This will probably last a lifetime. After all, they're called the polished tanks, which is uh, also visible in the uh, beaters that comes with the pedals. They look the business, they sure do, but for my preference, they are a tad too heavy really. They are adjustable, you can um, push the pedal into the bass drum, loosen this screw and you can set this beater to hit exactly flat as you want it but like previously stated it's just a bit too heavy for me so I chose this uh, standard Drumworks DW beaters, felt one side plastic on the other and combined with the um, weight of the pedal itself and the motion I think this is going to be the perfect solution for these ones so I'm looking forward of years ahead playing on them so finally thank you um, Vladislav Sulava of uh, Charci Kopito Monolith for um, creating this and being an absolute gentleman to deal with on mail quick response good information much faster service than expected they say six months, I waited two months, so karma, I guess, I hope, I bet, I pray. Thanks, you, and thanks to all of you who are interested in watching. And, uh, oh, almost forgot, <coughs> the driving force, the um, connecting rod or the drive shaft, kind of resembles the um, model of trick, but uh, that's not a bad thing, that's actually a good thing. Absolutely no squeak, no play in the joints, rock solid, not too heavy, but uh, absolutely heavy duty. Highly recommended. Would recommend everyone to check out their homepage at Chatsi Copito.
dot com. Again, don't arrest me on the pronunciation. I'm not from Poland. <laughs> oh. But I would like to visit them just to see the factory. So if I pop into Poland, I might run by them. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. Maybe we will make a later video. <laughs> and as my vocalist now eagerly points out there's a big box that comes with them as well that don't get enough credit this alone is probably worth let's say a hundred euros and it comes engraved with the company logo here and the name itself of the pedal here very sturdy flight lockable here by padlocks extendable and inside we have foam cutouts to accommodate two pedals tools and so on. Be careful not to be decapitated here. So here you see the space for the pedals, extra beater heads, tools, extra springs, lanyard with a drum key and ooh, can opener, beer opener. Got some business cards, holler if you want any, and some swag for your wall, your own unique Certificate of Authenticity. Yeah, I guess you could call them Swagolit or Swaggy Copito. They are kind of swag. Now, I think we reach the end. So, thank you for watching. Rock on.